Hey everyone, welcome back. In this particular video, we are going to see how we can create local testing lab so that you can test your GoFish uh, installation on your local system, right? So in my case, I'm going to create the Windows virtual lab or you can say Windows installation in the virtual box in case you know how to do it or in case you want to install GoFish on your current system then you can just jump in the next video and continue from okay. there so right now you might say that right now i am using windows right here so will i able to set up that on my current computer yes you will but i don't suggest that make sure that you set up everything in the control environment so that if there is anything goes wrong or if there is anything wrong with the binary of the uh, this particular gofish then also it will not infect to your uh, current computer or you can say your base OS right so for that what we are going to do is we are going to install the virtual box okay so right now if you are learning about the GoFish then I am assuming that you will have knowledge about the virtual box if you don't then make sure that you go to the Google type virtual box or let me show you how it, it is done okay so let's say we open the Google. Here we need to talk virtual box or you can say VBOX. VBOX is a basically shortcut for virtual box. Here you can click on the first link. Now go to the downloads and basically you can click, click here to download for Windows and make sure that you download the extension pack also. That will help you to you know copy paste the files from your base OS to the virtual box whatever the image is. Okay, so right now we have the virtual box installed. In my case, I have already installed the virtual box. If you haven't installed, please go ahead and install. The next thing we need is we need the Windows ISO image. So what you can do is we can type Windows 10 ISO image download. Okay, and that should give you this particular link. On this particular link, you can select the edition and click on the confirm and obviously you can choose right here uh, language whatever you want to choose and it will give you two options for download 32 bit download and 64 bit download in my case i have already downloaded this particular os so let me show you where i have downloaded this os so in this particular folder can you see the windows 10 iOS file is already present so let's go ahead let's minimize this particular browser and let's click on this Oracle virtual box. So let me click on the add and I'll go to the documents and my OS folder. And here no OS file is shown. So because our OS file is .iso not .xml or .bbx. So that's why it is not shown. In that case what we can do is you can click on the new and here you can type windows right and uh, basically you can select microsoft windows windows 10 uh, 64 bit whatever the version is and click on the next here it will give you option to allocate resources to that particular virtual os or virtual environment right so in my case i got around 64 gb ram so i can afford basically to set the ram up to 10 gb so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to set this particular ram to the 10 gb and CPU cores, I'm going to give you uh, four cores, right? Because I got 12 core CPU. Great. Now let me click on the next. And here the disk space uh, supposed to little bit more, more, like around 80 GB or 100 GB. Even if do, you don't have 100 GB space, make sure that you select something 100 GB because it will not log the space. Let's say you have hard drive of 1 TB. Then you might think that 100 uh, GB of that 1 TB will be immediately gone. No, VirtualBox will use this space as needed. Here we just want to mention what maximum space the VirtualBox can use. Okay, let me click on next and finish. So right now you might say that where we should add the ISO because right now we haven't added yet. So let me click on the start and it will show the uh, ISO file option. So this starting process also can take sometimes a little bit longer depending on your OS. So in my case, it is quite faster. So can you see right here it is saying load the DVD image or IOC image. So here I am going to select the other and in my documents, I will go to the OS folder where I have downloaded this particular Windows file. 
let me click on ok and i'll say mount and retry boot okay and that should basically uh, start the installation uh, wizard for this particular windows day okay so let's give some time let's wait and let's see what turns on the screen okay good thing the windows logo is there that means it will work without any issue let me just maximize the screen so right now can you see i maximize the screen but this window screen is not fit to the my screen it is showing like this particular small blue screen small screen right that's because the windows is not installed once it is installed then it will resize itself right so let's go ahead let's click on the install now and uh, it should show us the disk option to select obviously i don't have the product key so i'll click on the i don't have product key i'll use the default version windows 10 home let me click on the next then there is a, obviously the license let me click on i accept and click on next now i'll click on the custom install and i'll select the drive 0 which is the drive i have created which is 104 gb let me click on the next and it should start installation of the windows 10 in my case i have allocated around four core uh, processor so that's why it will not take that much time the installation will be faster right now i'll pause the video and once the installation is complete then i'll unpause the video okay so now installation process has been completed and it is automatically restarting so let's give some time until it's restart because when uh, it is restarting the very first time it will take a little bit time okay so right now installation wizard has been started so let me click on the yes it will spin for one time then it will ask few more questions sorry i'm fast forwarding the process but it's a quite easy it's unlike any other in windows installation so you can go through it in case you need to see something you can just slow down a little bit and uh, you can check that particular step in the video right right now the installation has been completed but still i am able to see that small windows box okay the screen is not getting bigger so how exactly it can be fixed so basically what you need to do is type setting you need to go into the settings there you find the system settings right and in the system you will find the display setting so in the display setting uh, can you see the display resolution is 10 uh, 24 into 768 but my display supports i think uh, this particular resolution my display is this particular resolution so i'm just click on the uh, keep changes this resolution is also not matching with the my display resolution so in my case i don't have any other resolution option so i'm just going to use the topmost can you see this resolution option is also not matching with my current uh, display resolution which supposed to be i think uh, 19 uh, 20 into 1080 something similar but uh, let's do one thing let's continue with this one only okay right. so yeah that's all in this video in the next video we will set up go fish on this particular window right so thanks for watching see you in the next awesome.